Hi, I'm Leo Leung, Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud, and today I'm going to talk about different kinds of workloads you can run on cloud compute, the compute instances in the, in the cloud. So there's lots of variations within these families, but in general, you're starting to see uh, three families of compute that's available. One is a CPU type of machine, either a bare metal machine or in virtual form that has local storage, so storage inside of that instance. Second, you have also a CPU-based machine, either bare metal instances or virtual machines, where it's using network storage. And I have block storage written down here, where it's accessing storage capacity over the network. And then a third family around GPUs, graphical processing units. Again, in bare metal or virtual machine form, and typically these are using network storage as well, block storage over the network. Looking at these three families of compute, let's talk about the workloads that they're suited for. So when you're looking at bare metal with storage, this really gives you the ultimate in performance in a specific package. You're talking about millions of storage operations uh, per second that are possible out of these instances because they typically have solid state storage on board. And what is that good for? Certainly when you're thinking about your big transactional, classic transactional types of workloads, uh, like OLTP database, online trans transaction processing types of workloads. Uh, lots of enterprise applications fit in this family. Lots of big database uh, types of applications fit in this family. You can also start to take advantage of these types of machines if you have software to basically group them together or cluster them for large high performance computing uh, types of workloads, uh, including if, if you're able to uh, have access to special networking, uh, even the most high speed parallel types of workloads that are in the high performance computing family. Okay, so Transactional workloads, HPC workloads, sometimes people call this scale up types of workloads. When you look at this middle family, this is sort of the general purpose type of compute. So this can handle a very wide range uh, of types of applications. This is often used for your quote unquote scale out types of applications, meaning you're basically just adding additional uh, instances that have the application code in order to uh, make the application uh, both more resilient and higher performance to be able to handle more, uh, more load. Lots of web applications fall into this family. Again, even up to some of the most high performance uh, enterprise applications actually still fall in this category of a web application, but very, very general purpose uh, this is typically what gets consumed most at cloud providers uh, because you're also able to independently scale your storage. So this type of family, you can have applications where there's a huge amount of capacity required, but maybe not as much computing required. That, that's very well suited for that. Now this last family is becoming extremely popular for certain types of workloads like machine learning. Where essentially it's very, very compute intensive. Where you're separating out the workload and processing it through the many, many processors that are available on a GPU. Um, machine learning, simulations fall into this family. More and more workloads are becoming applicable uh, to this type of computing. So there you have it. Three general classes of computing. Of course, there's variance when it comes to clock speeds, when it comes to the amount of memory versus storage that's on board, but generally they fall in these families. Uh, CPU-based instances that have storage on board, CPU instances that require network storage, and GPU instances that require network storage. Thanks a lot for your time.